Hi there, in the latest update of NoPlan we have finally added artificial intelligence to NoPlan. This means on the mobile app you can transcribe your voice to text and on the Mac and the iOS version you can also uh, use GPT-4 to change existing text inside your note. So you can select text, tell GPT-4 what to do with this text and will change it. For example, expand the text, uh, summarize the text or translate it. So in this video I want to show you how the transcription service works on iOS, how you can set it up and uh, some more. So first of all you can tap somewhere inside an empty node or in an empty line or where, wherever you want to see the text later for tr uh, the transcription service. And then you see on the toolbar there's an undo redo button and beside the redo button there is a new magic button which is the AI button. So I tap on this and you have, uh, for now at least, two options, transcribe voice and prompt AI on selection. So let's try the transcribe voice option first. In the next update we are releasing artificial intelligence. Now you tap on stop whenever you're done and then you see a list of options and this is where GPT-4 comes in. So either you paste the text uh, plainly so whatever you said will be just pasted and this will I will show you first and then we have a couple of options where we use GPT-4 to format your text for example you can create a bullet list from your text you can create a task list or you can even create a complete plan in, fo in the form of time blocks for the day we have a couple of more options but these are custom prompts we have added to notes and which you can also add yourself into your notes and I will show you how this works as well so first of all let's just paste the text as plain text and you see it's um, transcribing the text quite well and mostly you don't need to change much and you can also do it on the go when there's a lot of noise around you it works surprisingly well uh, thanks to OpenAI so let's try another option let's go for the bullet list for example or the task list for example if we want to go shopping and then we can say we can create a list of things we want to buy. So we want to buy tomatoes, uh, potatoes, some garlic and some meat. Now I select the task list. It's formatting the text and here we have the list of the grocery list, grocery list basically. So this is another example and now the what I think is the most exciting example. So you can basically plan your day by, t by telling no plan what you want to do, when and for how long. Okay, here's an example. Transcribe voice. So at 8 a.m. I want to reply to a couple of emails for one hour. After this I want to go to the gym for half an hour. Then I want to focus on the main tasks for two hours and after this lunch for one hour. So for, It can be of course even longer. And then I tap on time blocks. And here is the list. So reply to emails, go to the gym, focus on main task and so on. It detected all the times, it uh, formatted it just the way NoPlan expects it. And then you can also tap on the timeline button, bottom right, and you see your complete plan for the day. Of course, this is just half of the day, um, but you can just tell it the complete plan uh, up to the evening, what you want to do, and it should quite accurately detect what you're saying. I can give you another example from the custom prompts I've made. For example, you can also create tables and this is a custom prompt so it won't be shipped in this update but you can create this yourself as well and modify it as you need it. For example, I want to create a table like um, where I want to invest for example. So $1000 into the Apple stock, then uh, $500 into Microsoft and $100 into Nvidia. And then we create a table and here is the table created by GPT-4 in this case together with the transcription service. So this is how it works and how can you set it up? So the you don't need to set up anything to get started but you might run into uh, limitations because uh, every time you send something to OpenAI it costs a little bit so we have limited the amount of requests you can make but you can go uh, get around this by creating your own OpenAI account and then and you can see this in the uh, on our help pages how it works and then you copy and paste your OpenAI API key into NoPlan so this is how it looks like on the mobile version 
So you go to the preferences and then you can go to general and at the bottom of general you see open API key. You tap on this. Also here you can tap on learn more to find the help article, how to create an open AI account. And then you paste your API key here. And this also works on the Mac version and you only need to do it on one of those versions and it will be synced uh, via iCloud. So this is how you can set it up. And one last example on the mobile version. So how to change existing text. For example, we have already some text like, um, like a change log, for example, fixed crashing um, implemented button and so on. So I select this text and then you can again tap on the magic button and then prompt the AI on selection. And now you can, uh, I know it says command bar, but you can type in now your prompt in here. For example, translate into German. And then you see the button coming up, prompt AI, translate into German. We tap on this. So we're sending it to OpenAI. And you see it has translated the text. Of course, you can do much, much more things with this, like uh, writing a tweet. You write a long text and you tell OpenAI to write a tweet about this or on this uh, or an Instagram post or whatever. And here's how you can create the custom prompts I told you about for the transcription. So the buttons you've seen before after I have transcribed the text, you can just create these uh, custom prompts for yourself by writing them in any node. So I have one node with some examples here, transcribing of OpenAI. So these are uh, the three extra custom prompts I have shown you. So you can define a new custom prompt in the JSON format uh, along, but you have to start the line with the tag custom dash prompt and then curly bracket and then title colon and then the name of the or the title of the uh, custom prompt. After this, you can define the icon, which is the SF symbols, which is coming from the SF symbols. You can also Google this and um, figure out which icon you want to use. Then the color, which is the hexadecimal and then the prompt, which is the most important part. The other parts are optional except title and prompt. So you can then type in, for example, prompt interpret the data row by row and create a simple markdown table. Reply only with the raw table, nothing else. This created for the table in the previous example or compose tweet or create OKRs from the goals I tell you, for example. So you can do many, many things with this and I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching.